that it was almost in a political vacuum. They belonged theoretically to Salem Town, uh, although the villagers didn't want to be part of Salem Town. Uh, Salem Town was much more of an urbanized area where mercantile development was taking place, and the village was agricultural and separated by uh, five to ten miles and uh, a whole different concept of, um, of life. And uh, the people who lived uh, in the village had constant problems um, with their ministers. Uh, one minister had been forced to resign. Uh, two others had uh, left uh, very uh, unhappy. And you had constant bickering within the community itself. So all these factors, plus a number of others, I think uh, were uh, underlying factors which helped bring about something like this which would uh, germinate into a real hysteria. Who was Tatuba, who was said to be very prominent in the area of black magic? Okay, uh, Tatuba was a Carib Indian who was owned by uh, Reverend Samuel Paris. And the Reverend Mr. Paris, before he had become a minister, was a merchant who had lived in the West Indies. And he had picked up uh, three slaves uh, uh, Tatuba, John Indian, and another uh, smaller uh, uh, Indian child. And he apparently wasn't terribly successful as being a merchant. He eventually ended up back in Boston. Uh, he decided to become a minister. And Salem Village uh, eventually asked him to come out and be minister for their congregation. And he brought with him uh, uh, Tatuba. And we don't really know too much about her. As a matter of fact, if it weren't for the witchcraft hysteria, she would have kind of fallen uh, in the cracks of history because slaves and, and people are lower economic status just usually aren't uh, uh, recorded in history. Whether or not Tituba knew black arts, we're not sure. The witchcraft began in the home of the Reverend Samuel Paris in the winter of 1691-92. And uh, Tituba, according to uh, local tradition, began telling the girls stories of witchcraft and things of that type. But the very interesting thing about the beginning of the witchcraft is that witchcraft was not the voodoo kind of witchcraft that we normally associate with the West Indies. It was a real English-European type of witchcraft. Uh, so exactly how it started and who brought it about, we're not absolutely sure because the record's just a kind of silent on it. But it is quite valid to say that uh, Tituba did have uh, at least something to do with uh, the beginning of the hysteria. Were a number of innocent people hurt by this? Well, yes. Um, during the witchcraft hysteria that lasted uh, beginning in very late February of 1692 until um, uh, really into the next year, uh, early 1693, during that period of time, something like uh, 200 uh, persons were actually accused of practicing witches. And a number of them were brought to a preliminary hearing and then finally trial. And of that number, um, 19 were hanged, uh, one was uh, pressed to death, and at least three died in jail. So it had a dramatic uh, uh, effect upon Massachusetts, primarily Essex County, Massachusetts, and when you consider that 200, 250 people accused in a relatively small population meant that it was a major crisis within the colony at that time. Do you believe this is an example of mass hysteria, or was there more to it? About 15 years ago, a professor from Pennsylvania by the name of Chadwick Hansen wrote a book called witchcraft at Salem. And the book was very good in uh, giving a uh, fairly specific account of mass hysteria and how that could have been uh, part of the uh, reason why the witchcraft occurred in Salem Village. And part of his concept was the fact that uh, because of all these external pressures and so forth, and because of what was happening uh, locally, that the girls began to be mass hysterics, and that they started exhibiting very unusual behavior, much more than kids simply play acting, uh, which psychosomatically they had um, uh, display itself uh, on uh, uh, their bodies and on what was happening in the courts.
And because of this, a lot of the male population and female population, the adults, uh, realized that the kids weren't play acting, and this just brought about a, a tumbling action of more accusations uh, going uh, increasingly all the time. And that because of all of the external circumstances in the village, it was ripe for this kind of hysteria. And uh, he postulates that this mass hysteria did take place, in fact, in the village. Do you believe the witchcraft is real? Well, it depends upon what you mean by real. If we say that we have a population that primarily believes in witchcraft, uh, a few people perhaps doubt it, uh, which we know in 1692 is the case, but the majority of the people tend to believe in real witchcraft. And if I, as a member of that uh, population believe that uh, either because I'm mentally deranged or I have delusions of grandeur or I simply want to have one up on everybody else, if I believe I can do certain things uh, to either hurt or help you, and if I then say you're getting a bad headache, and if you know that it's a given that I'm kind of an unusual person and that it, a lot has been talked about concerning me before, there is a possibility that you're going to get a headache. And under that circumstance, um, yeah, you can have a, a, a real uh, a witchcraft occurring, but the reality isn't, isn't on the outside, it's on the inside of, of how your brain works. And in that way, yes, I do think that there was some witchcraft practiced in uh, 1692. There's an awful lot of uh, evidence, circumstantial, as well, well as primary source material, which indicates that people practiced white magic, and in some cases, even black magic. And that... Um, uh, the witches, or those persons accused of being witches, at least a few of them might have actually believed that, them, that they themselves were witches. How about today? Well, I don't know that much about witchcraft today. Um, most of those practitioners of witchcraft today would say that they don't have much to do with uh, the black arts, with devil worship, that they're more interested in that pre-15th century witchcraft, uh, white witchcraft in which they are trying to, by means of understanding the universe, uh, herbs, um, uh, how they themselves function in the universe, that they are able to attain power and uh, to be an influence on what happens around them. And you, you have a lot of uh, uh, so-called white witches uh, roaming around. Sybil Leake, who died a, a few years ago, I think, was a practitioner of uh, white witchcraft, uh, in Salem, there's a woman named Lori Cabot who is a white witch. They will usually tell you they have nothing to do with the diabolical witchcraft. There are, however, certain individuals uh, who are devil worshippers today uh, who practice uh, uh, a type of witchcraft that relates to uh, uh, belief in uh, the devil and actual literal worship of the devil. How long did this period of history last? Very short time in, in you know, the study of history, about eight months. How did it end? That's not as easy a question to answer. Uh, a lot of factors brought about the ending. One was after eight months, uh, people began to get tired of what was happening. Um, some people who were accused, instead of simply uh, bowing to authority and taking, uh, taking their lumps, uh, tended to uh, start uh, proceedings of defamation of character on the afflicted children and their parents. And the parents were fearful that uh, it might directly affect their pocketbook, uh, their estate. Um, probably the most important factor which brought about the end of the witchcraft was the fact that um, ministers and magistrates from the Boston area uh, began asking for advice from others uh, elsewhere. And they had sought the opinion of some New York ministers who indicated that, yes, the girls uh, did seem to be actual afflicted people, but you shouldn't take them at their face value because since they were under this affliction, they might not know the difference between right or wrong and truth and, and non-truth. Uh, and so they urged that the use of spectral evidence not be used uh, within uh, the court for uh, 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 good, viable testimony.
and when spectral evidence was no longer allowed, uh, they just didn't have enough to try the, uh, uh, the people for practicing witchcraft.